He say that I blow his mind every time I'm activated. You just tryna catch a vibe. CC got you fascinated. Jump up on the brand new ride. BMW riding, baby. I ain't gon' tell you lies. That's just how we roll. You know what it is? What it is? How we roll? You know what it is? What it is? That's just how we roll. What's up, Taurus? And welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Taurus out there are doing well. All right, you guys. So we're going to pull just a few messages to see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. And then we're going to get into some tarot. So if you find that anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal, my information, you guys, will be in the description box below. All right, Taurus. So let's get into it. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Taurus, what do they need to know? All right, so we got to speak up. All right, so with this blue, this gives me the energy of throat chakra, okay? You could be seeing three, just to be talking about collaboration or partnership, but there is something that you need to do. You need to use your throat chakra and speak. I feel like you have a lot of people that are supporting you or who can relate to you, but it's like it's something that you're supposed to be sharing with other people. So right now, Taurus, you can be encouraged to like speak up, share your story, share your trials and tribulations. Like it's time for you to tell your story, your side, your point of view here. Let's look at speak up right quick. All right, so. It says, speak up, speak out. You have the right to be heard. You are betraying yourself by not speaking up. Your words have power. Own your voice. As the old saying goes, stand up for something or fall for anything. Being neutral is not an option. When you stand firmly in your truth, you have thoughts, you have opinions, beliefs, and convictions. What do you stand for? Tell somebody today. So I feel like it's time for some of you guys to reclaim your voice and speak out like there's a story there's like i feel like something that you would be sharing like your words are so powerful but you also can help other people on their journey here okay so what you're being called to do is speak up share your voice because there's something that you're supposed to be sharing with other people but it's also going to be beneficial to other people as well it's like you speaking up and sharing your story to also help someone else on their journey as well all right so let's pull just a little bit of tarot messages for my Taurus. i love you Taurus. if anything is resonating for you guys don't forget to like this video messages for Taurus. what is it that my beautiful and my handsome Taurus? what do they need to know mm, okay so we got the nine of pentacles and we got the ten of swords these ones will fall out let me look at these cards right quick all right, Knight of Pentacles. All right, so this talks about steady. This talks about dependable here. So someone could be valuing you and they see you're very ambitious, you're hardworking. You could be someone who views challenges realistically, but you come with a grounded and solid plan. So it's like when, when the worst case scenario comes, like you're the person who always has like you're grounded like you still be grounded in your thoughts and you're still trying to find a practical way all right you're someone who likes routine likes to be stable but you're very committed to someone that you love okay you could be someone who plays a safe and take calculated risks you don't believe in shortcuts but you do have expectations you're looking for someone who is honest and humble but also smart or humble, but also smart at the same time. So I feel like some of you could be trying to spice things up, maybe in your relationships, in your career, your love life here. Because we got the Ten of Swords. Let's look at this. Okay, so with this Ten of Swords being in reverse, this talks about someone feeling, well, this talks about being feeling stranded and adjusting. But it talks about something doesn't necessarily have to come to an end, okay? 
Maybe you feel like you're trying to control a situation. Maybe there's something that's leaving you physically and emotionally exhausted. But I feel like it's time for some type of fresh start. Okay? Like some of you may need to travel, you know, do some things differently. Like because this is the energy that you're in. You're in this night of pentacles energy, right? But I feel like there is something here that's being renewed for you. Okay, this could have been an ending. Maybe this is a relationship, a job, or something that you felt like needed to come to an end because you weren't going to grow or someone here wasn't going to grow. But it's like, you know, stop trying to control a situation here because it doesn't mean that this is the end. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Tell us more about this Ten of Swords. Yeah, we got the Tower. So, so there could be like an unexpected change or something unexpectedly could happen here. Like there can be a shocking surprise. Like maybe you thought this wasn't going to work or, you know, something wasn't going to happen here. Because sometimes things have to fall apart before they can fall into place. So maybe there was a foundation or something here that wasn't strong to begin with. Maybe there was some triggers you felt from someone, a relationship. But I feel like you can recover. Like, all is not lost. Like, even though I've, and I'm, I'm picking up maybe this could be a relationship or a, a job or something. Tell us about this 10 of Wands. Because it's, it's seeming like, you know, you're feeling like things could just be over with. Things are not going to change. But I feel like there will be an unexpected change when it comes to this situation. Tell us about the 10 of Swords, Holy Spirit. Messages for Taurus. I love you, Taurus. Tell us about the Ten of Swords. What is this dealing with? Nine of Wands. Maybe someone who felt guarded. Or you made have felt guarded like you had to protect yourself and energy from someone. Or it could have been someone who you felt like they were more this King of Swords. Like they were someone who didn't really tap into like their feelings and emotions. You know what I'm saying? You could have been dealing with this King of Swords energy. This could have been an Aquarius or someone here who thought very logically, but you can connect with them like on the emotional level. So I feel like for some, this has to do with relationship. Like there can be a tower. There can be an unexpected change in a relationship. And that doesn't mean this has to be the end here. Let's look at this tower. Messages for my Taurus. I love you, Taurus. Tell us about this tower, Holy Spirit. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, like, you could have been dealing with someone who maybe they didn't put in the same amount of effort and time as you did. You know, they could have been very stubborn. You know, you could have felt like they just weren't putting in that effort. But I feel like there is going to be some type of change here because this tower was, was upright. So that means, like, there can be a positive change in this connection. Tell us more. About this tower, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Taurus. I love you, Taurus. Mm. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, it's going to take, take some time, okay? For some of you, you could have been dealing with someone who wasn't wanting to commit. They didn't put in the same amount of effort and energy as you did, okay? This is someone that you had to make some type of decision about because they were causing a lot of mental instability in your life, okay? Causing you to be in your head. So some of you guys, you may have to walk away. That's what I'm picking up on. Either you may have to walk away and there can be this tower that I'm referring to and you walking away is going to bring you this joy, this peace, this happiness that you want. All right? Or for some of you, this could be like a love triangle. It could be a third party involved in this situation. And once this third party is released, once some, you know, once the situation is released, man, this is going to bring joy and happiness back into a connection or a relationship here okay all right you guys that's all i have let's get let's look at the signs let's see who all we have here all right messages for taurus so let's get the signs here all right so we have heavy taurus sag leo messages for taurus we got dang heavy heavy leo aquarius 
And then we also have Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, and Aries. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.